Oh boy, yesterday was uh, was rough. Well, I'm feeling it today. Now, if you didn't see our last uh, our last video, we spent yesterday doing a downtown Vegas casino crawl. Twelve casinos, fifty dollars in every casino. It was a ton of fun, but I'm feeling it today. I think I had maybe well, maybe five or six beers, but you know that combined with. Uh, all of the walking, the long day, the drinking. I'm feeling it today and to the point where I'm going out right now to get uh, some breakfast for Marnie and I. There's a place that sells bagels. It's called Juice Stars. The only place downtown that even remotely sells bagels. And even though they're only 300 meters away, I am driving. <laughs> So the plan today, I think, is to take it easy. Um, we're gonna have breakfast in the room, and then um, I think we're gonna go to the factory outlet mall, which isn't too far from here, uh, in the downtown area. And uh, I don't know, maybe just come back, gamble a little bit at, uh, at the El Cortez, maybe some of the other downtown casinos. And at 4.30, Jose Canseco is, uh, sell, uh, is uh, signing autographs. Uh, and that's not too far from here. So I'm gonna go check that out and then uh, we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. I don't think things are gonna be that exciting today, but uh, who knows? Oh boy. <laughs> Just uh, in the El Cortez Casino, waiting for Marnie to get ready. So it's always good. It's always good to have a, uh, a casino next door so that you can pass the time while the, uh, your wife's getting ready, having a shower uh, before we head out for the day. Um, I had. I just played uh, blackjack very briefly at a at a real at a real table. Uh, I had $25 in match play. I prefer the um, the electronic blackjack. It, it you know when you do the cards, it, it shows you the uh, the total here. You have six. Oh yeah, I hit that of course. You have seven or seven. I'm gonna stand on that. Dealer has 19. Place your bets, please. I didn't know this, but in Canada where we live, it's pretty common for the blackjack dealer to call out each player's card numbers. In Vegas, some dealers will do it for you and some, uh, and some won't. And uh, I just, I, I have trouble sometimes doing uh, uh, quick math in my head, so I prefer the, uh, uh, the totals, but it was okay. It's early in the morning. Uh, I was the only one at the table, so the dealer, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't want to do it with anybody else at the table. Is, uh, you know, you don't want to, uh, uh, you know, upset people by slowing down the game or, uh, uh, or whatever, but uh, insurance? Uh, no, this is not good though. Taylor had a black uh, of course, they did. Now it's time for you. Place All your right. bets, please. Place your bets, please. All right, Marnie and I gotta get going on our shopping excursion, so I am going to bet everything my 6750 that I have on this one hand. So let's see what happens. Wish me no more bets. Thank you. Oh, okay, yes. Dealer has a low up card, so I am standing. Ah, lost it all. Place your bets, please. So we uh, just got back from the factory outlet mall. Marnie bought a pair of shoes and uh, some charms 
for her bracelet. What is that store? Pandora, is that what it's called? That does those charm bracelets. Oh, Sephora, Pandora, I don't even know. Anyway, a couple of charms for her bracelet. I still have another about hour and a half left before my photo op <laughs> with Jose Canseco. So I'm gonna go and do a little bit more gambling. So it's been an interesting uh, hour, I guess. I spent $40 on uh, my favorite racing game for this trip. Lost 40 bucks, went back to uh, Blackjack. Won uh, 80, so what yeah I'm even then I put another $20 in and lost that so for the hour I'm down $20 but then I just realized I have $10 in free play here at the El Cortez so let's see what we can do on Huff and More Puff I just ran into another YouTuber who I've never heard of before, but I saw that she had some cameras out. I guess the channel is Slot Savvy PK. Never heard of her, but I subscribed and I'll check it out. <laughs> My wife has given me the stink eye. Because <laughs> I already watch enough Vegas stuff on YouTube. I do not need another channel to subscribe to. <laughs> oh, cool. look, we got the bonus. Marty, I got the bonus. Six free games. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so I guess with each one of these helmets, it's kind of like the three little pigs, right? See, there's the wolf. So the first helmet that comes up is a straw house, and then if a helmet appears in that space again, it'll change to a brick house, and the third time, if there is a third time, it'll change to a gold house. And then the wolf tries to blow them all down, and we'll see what the uh, the amounts are. Oh, okay, there you go, okay. So there's some, uh, I guess those would be straw houses, right? Okay. I think, oh, okay, yeah, there's a gold house there, a gold house there. All right, that's good. The gold houses will be worth more money. Oh, another gold house, okay, all right, all right. I like this game. All right, I guess that's a brick house. Got a straw house here. You'll see the houses pop up in a moment. Oh, two more. Two more spins. Marnie, I just got another uh, two more spins. So how does that work? There's already gold houses there, right? Okay, what is that? Do I get... I've never seen that happen before. I'm getting a lot of gold houses. One, two, three, four. This, this could be a decent bonus. And remember, this started with $10... Free play. Free money. Oh, another seven. Okay, so what happens here? All right, here are the houses. All right, so here's Mr. Wolf. He's going to try and blow them down. There we go. All right. I guess because I'm only betting 75 cents. That's probably 75 cents, 50 cents. Oh, 375. All right, now this should be interesting. What do we got? Oh, a mini bonus. That's $10, three. That's $30. Yeah, $30. It's 30 plus... What, 15, 18, 150, 375? That's probably uh, 35 bucks right there. Oh, 40? Yeah! 50? Oh boy. Math has never been my strong suit. $75, Marnie, on $10 of free play. And going, 87, 88. $93. Well, 
I'm definitely up for the day. So uh, time to go back to the room. Got to put on a nice polo shirt so I can look good for Jose Canseco. <laughs> Here's the gift shop at the El Cortez, which <laughs> I didn't even know until this morning was here. I, didn't, I, didn't, I never even noticed it before. And it is open for your convenience. 23 hours a day and I'm not exaggerating because I asked her I said are you open 24 hours <laughs> and she's like no, actually we're open 23 <laughs> and I asked her what hours are closed they're closed between 3 and 4 a.m. <laughs> 23 hours my guess is uh, by being by not being open 24 hours, maybe it puts you in a different tax bracket or some other tax advantages. That's my guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you over at the uh, Downtown Grand for Jose Canseco. yesterday as part of my uh, casino crawl and my wife pointed out I didn't even notice it uh, this area where there was a whole bunch of sports memorabilia and so I went in to check it out and started talking to the guy and he said yeah are you here tomorrow because uh, Jose Canseco is going to be here signing autographs and I bought a baseball she did go uh, that he's going to sign apparently and uh, yeah, here it is right here there he is, right there, guys. The Jose Canseco. Right there. Very, very cool. All right, let's get in line. Look at these guys, the best friends. <laughs> the Four Stooges. We got to think of another name. Oh, Curry, Harry. What do you got? Harry? All right, here we go. What, what, what do you need? Okay, let's start. Who's first? <laughs> So I got a, a ball autographed and a nice little plastic case to put it in and they threw in a, uh, an autographed picture of uh, Jose. Unfortunately not in a Blue Jays uniform, but uh, as I said, uh, his big years were as an Oakland athletic and then a little bit later on as a Texas Ranger as well. But uh, yeah, very cool. That was, that's what happens when you can be in the right place at the right time. So now Marnie and I are heading down to Circa, where we have uh, some dinner vouchers. We're going to go have dinner there and uh, gamble, and maybe along the way we'll show you the craziness that is Fremont Street on a Saturday night. You guys are absolutely kick-ass. Welcome. I said it before, and I'll say it a hundred more times. Welcome to the real Vegas down here.
Have you ever seen that TV show, Extreme Couponing, where, you know, people go to the grocery store and get $600 worth of groceries for 14 cents? Well, that's pretty much what's just happened to us here at the Circa. We each had a $25 food credit on our account, and then I guess they were able to add on points. I don't know, other things, whatever, things that we had earned. So here's what we got and the price we got it for. Look at this. Zero. $74 meal for nothing. <laughs> Sign up for those casino rewards points, people. So here's what we got for uh, free. Otherwise would have cost $74. <laughs> So I got a, a turkey sandwich, there's a pickle there, chips, drink, and Marnie got a steak. She wasn't originally going to order the steak, and when we realized we had more comps than we originally uh, uh, had anticipated, she switched it. What were you originally going to order? Probably the Reuben. The Reuben sandwich. That's a good looking Reuben right there, I tell you. Look at this potato chip. Now that was a big potato. All right, I moved across the street to the Golden Gate, another one of my favorite properties on the strip. And uh, I'm playing Lightning Link Moon Race. I have $100 in the machine. Let's see what happens. All right, I've hit the hold and spin feature. Let's go. Getting interesting. All right, two more. Come on. All right, last one. Oh, oh, the grand jackpot is ten thousand. Let's see if I get it. All right. All right, last one. No, all right. All right, I got the whole new spin feature and I recently upped my bet to a buck. I don't know if that changes anything. It's, it's still one cent denomination, but anyway, here we go. Come on, balls with words. Let's go, balls with words. Already got one there. Come on, more balls with words. All right, last one, maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, definitely upping my bet to a dollar definitely made a difference there. Absolutely. So I just hit a couple of line. Oh, I am so close. 199.30. And I said I was going to cash out if it hit 200. What should I do? Bet 250. No, I'm not betting 250. You're, you're, you're crazy, woman. What should I do? I've also won more than you. 70 cents short of 200 bucks. Don't touch my butt. Stop it! Uh, Alright, let's
let's keep playing. <laughs> oh, oh. So I got the uh, the moon race bonus. I, I wasn't filming it. I didn't think anything would come of it. But now I just got $42. 42 on to 160. If my math is correct, will bring me above 200. There we go. Let's cash out. start off the beginning of I guess this would be day eight and uh, we only have a couple of hours left in Vegas uh, I'm here down at the El Cortez playing some uh, some video blackjack while Marnie is back up in the room packing and uh, yeah she's a master packer and uh, so that's what she's doing and we'll be heading to the airport in uh, just a couple of hours it's, uh, what time is it right now? It's uh, 10.04. we got to be at the airport probably for 2 or 2.30. So, uh, yeah, time is running out. So, we uh, just checked out of the, uh, of the El Cortez. And... Um, I brought up the whole housekeeping situation where housekeeping just randomly didn't show up. And I find it hilarious because <laughs> the exact same thing happened to us earlier in the week when we were staying at the Excalibur. Just randomly one day, uh, housekeeping just didn't show up. <laughs> so I bring this up to the... Um, uh, the people at the front desk at the uh, the El Cortez, and uh, you know they were apologetic. Sorry about that, sir. Uh, if you're looking for a, a comp or something, or, or you know to have a fee waived, contact the whole hotel manager. Uh, the hotel manager will be in at uh, 4 p.m. <laughs> it's uh, just after 12 o'clock. At 4 o'clock, I'm going to be on the plane. Like. <sighs> So that, that experience does not sit well with me because, again, the same thing happened at the Excalibur. And right there on hotel checkout, they said, sorry about that, sir. Let me waive two days of your resort fee. So that was very nice. But the same thing, the exact same thing happens at the El Cortez. And I have to jump through all of the, the hoops in order to get a comp. In order to get it corrected, I that does not sit well with me. And you know I love the uh, uh, the El Cortez, but I'm I've soured a little bit on it because of this minor experience. And uh, we have a couple of hours left until we uh, got to get to the airport. And honestly, I was going to gamble out the next hour or so of my trip uh, here at the El Cortez. I kind of don't feel like it anymore. And I think the plan is uh, Marnie and I might uh, might hit up maybe one of the locals' casinos, one we've never been to, Sam's Town, or uh, I don't know, maybe the Palms. I don't know. We'll have to see how much time we have. But uh, yeah, just an interesting experience at two different hotels dealing with the exact same issue. Again, I love the El Cortez, but maybe a little bit less this morning. So. A post-trip update on this situation. I sat on this for more than a week. And actually, I wasn't going to contact El Cortez. But I got talking to my brother-in-law about it. And he said, just go ahead and do it. Hey, you never know. Vegas is a city of hospitality. Just contact them. Maybe the next time you're in Vegas, they offer you the penthouse suite. You never know. So after sitting on it for a week... I contacted El Cortez through the submission form on their website. 
very politely worded message. The response from El Cortez, absolutely nothing. Crickets from El Cortez. And by not replying to that submission form on the, on the website, after I already brought it up to the front desk, El Cortez has, to put it in Vegas terms, doubled down on their position. Yeah, housekeeping didn't show up. Yeah, we charged you for it. And yeah, we don't care. And by looking at online reviews, it would seem I'm not the only one who has noticed the lack of housekeeping at El Cortez, like this one. The housekeeping never came by once, and I stayed Monday to Thursday. Now, this person said there was a loud nightclub that was keeping them up all night, but they go on to say, when I asked for a different room the next day, they said to check back at 2 p.m. When I did, I was told they had sold out, but had 30 to 40 rooms that didn't have housekeeping, so nothing was available. Housekeeping was off and on. Or this one, this property is very convenient as it is close to public transport and entertainment. I found, however, that it may be lacked cleaning staff at the time and on two occasions my room was not cleaned. And finally, this one, we were there four nights and housekeeping came by once despite the service sign hanging on the door for two days. That's literally what happened to us. We had that sign on the door and they never came by. And the response from the general manager was, these issues have been resolved, so I hope you will give El Cortez another chance in the future. This was March of 2023, a month and a half before my wife and I stayed, and we had housekeeping issues, so clearly the issues haven't been resolved. And I'm sorry if I'm ranting a little bit here. I do like to keep these videos very much on a positive upside, but when I see stuff like this, I want to tell you about it. And I... I'm not a difficult person to please. I'm really not. I'm not expecting the penthouse suite like my brother-in-law suggested. I would have been happy with a brief apology and the refunding of the resort fee for that day, which at El Cortez is $23. That's it. Heck, I would have been happy if they loaded the $23 on the My Club Cortez casino card. That way, you'd be guaranteed that the money would be spent back at your property. But no, somebody at El Cortez has decided that the best business practice is to save $23 today and forfeit thousands of dollars in potential gambling revenue over the next few years. I mentioned earlier in this video, math not my forte, but that seems like a gamble I would make. You spend $23 today and you get back thousands of dollars in return. And I think it's safe to assume that with these hotel and casino operations, that the hotel and casino are managed separately. They would have two separate management teams, two separate teams. Someone from housekeeping on Tuesday isn't working the blackjack table on Wednesday. I'm pretty sure that's not happening. So they are two very different operations, but a negative experience with one half of your operation taints my experience of the whole property. I still will gamble at El Cortez from time to time i do love the casino i love the vibe in there the old school feel and of course when i do another one of these downtown casino crawls again i definitely will hit up el cortez because of course it is one of the 12 properties downtown but really i i i, I at this point i don't see myself going out of my way to gamble at el cortez if i'm in the area maybe i'll stop by but this experience has soured me on, on the whole property, unfortunately. And, and it makes me sad. It makes me sad because I really, if you've watched my videos, uh, the, the July 2022 series and this series, right up until this point, I've been very complimentary of El Cortez. It, it is probably, up until this point, was my favorite property in Vegas. Okay, let's finish this trip out. <laughs> So we're hitting up Ellis Island. Uh, it's just a couple of blocks off the strip. I, I guess technically this would be a locals casino. 
Anyway, Ellis Island, maybe we do a bit of gambling. I've also heard their brunch is very good, and so this might be a good place to grab a bite to eat before we get to the airport. So we're at Ellis Island. We decided to grab a couple of sandwiches at the uh, at the deli. Let's see what they look like. Oh, I think this is yours, the Maz and uh, what was it? Well, what did you order? The Maz and um, mushroom. And I ordered a ham and cheese. That definitely looks like ham and cheese. That looks amazing. Okay. We're gonna play Dragon Link, happy and prosperous, starting with $40 in the machine. Let's go. <laughs> so Dragon Link wasn't doing anything for me. So we're gonna finish off our little gambling adventure at Ellis Island on this big, huge Las Vegas Golden Knights slot machine. I have $7.98 in play. Let's go. Oh, is that it? <laughs> I hit five credits. Maybe that was... <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, wait. One dog. Can I change the... Um... I guess I can't. I guess I'm done. <laughs> So I'm ending this trip the way I had the last two trips, gambling at the airport. Now my record of gambling at the airport is 100%. I've never lost money in both times I've gambled at the airport. Let's see what happens. This is not looking good.
out looking good. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, not the most glamorous shot of Vegas you're ever gonna see, but one that many people are intimately familiar with, the Las Vegas airport. So ends the April 2023 trip to Vegas. Now, I say this every time I leave uh, Las Vegas. I'm not sure when I'm going to be back. And every time I leave Las Vegas, I love, you know, I love this city. Every time I leave, I'm thinking, well, you know, maybe I should take a year or two off and visit some other destinations around the world. But, you know, Las Vegas in her seductive ways always ends up luring me back uh, if you want to follow me uh, on Twitter producer Polly on Twitter I tweet about a whole bunch of things not just Vegas but just life in general and things that have of interest to me but that will be the first place I will announce the next time uh, I'll be going to Vegas so from Vegas have a good one speak to you soon <laughs>